Hey y'all, this is Lady T coming at you. Um, doing this video in response to um, that exclusive new audio of Mel Gibson basically terrorizing and threatening to kill his ex fiance Oksana. Um, today, while I was on my um, on my lunch break, um, I went on MSN.com, and of course, his caption comes up, and it directs you to RadarOnline.com. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but anyway, go on to RadarOnline, all one word, dot com. That's R A D A R Online dot com. It's the first story that pops up as soon as you go to that website. Um, I'm going to try to make this as short as I can. Um, in, in doing these videos, those of you who also do videos, um, it only gives you 10 minutes to do it. So if I can't get this done in 10 minutes, I'll make a video one and then a part two to this video. Um, I'm just shocked. I I am a, or was, should say, a diehard Mel Gibson fan. I love Mel Gibson. I watched all his movies from Braveheart. I even watched that whack movie Waterworld. That movie sucked, but because I love me some Bel Mel Gibson, I went and watched it. Okay, I watched Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 3, and 4. In fact, Lethal Weapon 4, I went and paid full price for it to see twice because Jet Li was so off the hook in it. Never seen him before. He excited me. Loved him. Anyway, after seeing this, after reading this article and listening to, y'all, please go on to RadarOnline.com and listen to this fool talking to Exana. Luckily, she was smart enough to capture him on audio tape saying this stuff because she probably knew all he gonna do is it's gonna be my word against his and he gonna go on TV talking about I'm lying that he would never put his hands on me and this way I'll be able to prove that this fool attacked me and I guess evidently what happened was they got into a fight and he basically just straight up cold cocked her and busted out two of her teeth while she's holding their eight month old baby For real? Are you serious, Mel Gibson? You a, 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 a woman abuser? For real? And not only are you an abuser and got busted, but you go on to threaten the girl that you're going to kill her, that you're going to put her in a rose garden, that you can do it, that, that you're capable of it. You call her all out of her name. You call her a, 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 a cunt. Even making racial slurs, talking about that she'll deserve it if, if a gang of niggers, yes people, he said niggers, gang rape your behind, you'll deserve it. Because you provoked it. In fact, just so y'all don't think I'm lying, it says here, on July 9th, RadarOnline.com released audio of Mel's bio-racist rant. He is her telling Oksana, you look like a effing, sorry if I offend anybody, B-I-T-C-H in heat. And if you get raped by a pack of niggers, it will be your fault, alright? Because you provoked it. Can you believe that? This Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, y'all. Oscar winner. Oscar winner. Talking to his fiance like this. I'm just shocked. I mean, these men in Hollywood, if they ain't cheating, they beaten. I mean, for real? I, I, I'm just shocked. I just can't believe it. I mean, I've been tripping all day. If any of y'all who follow me on Facebook or YouTube, well, this will be on YouTube after I upload it. Like I said, it'll probably be two videos because I'm going to share with you a personal experience of mine of domestic violence. So anyway, but if you follow me on, on Facebook, you'll see I've been talking about it. It's just, I, I just can't, I can't believe it. I'm just shocked. Really shocked. I'm just curious as to what his buddy Danny Glover is possibly thinking about the racial slur. Racial slur. What his friend Oprah thinks about his racial slur. <laughs> didn't know he was a racist pig. I, I didn't know he was a woman abuser. I, 
Who knew? Anyway, my own personal thing on this, why this bothers me so much is, um, I don't want to, I don't, I don't classify myself as, as a, a, an abuse victim because I didn't stay, I mean, it happened that once and I, I got away. I got out of it immediately. I didn't stay there and try to make it work out. I didn't, you know, try to why, figure out why my boyfriend attacked me. I just got out. He didn't see me again until after I had had my son. And that's why because my mom was like, Trina, you, you know, Maurice needs to know who his son is. That's not right. You know, he's got a man child. He needs to know. You need to call him. That's the only reason why I got back in contact with him is because of Christian. But anyway, I digress. Okay, it's 1992, it's about, I don't think it's June, no, 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 it's July 1st or 2nd because I just found out that I'm, 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 I'm too much pregnant, okay, so I'm tripping and scared, he's tripping and scared, and then, you know, all of a sudden, when I, when he found out that I was pregnant, he started staying out all night, coming home at 3 o'clock in the morning, and when he did come home, he smelled like, he been smoking a bag of weed and drinking all kind of alcohol. It just wasn't right. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, I'm just as upset as you are. You know, you know, I didn't get pregnant, but I didn't do this, lay down and do this by myself. You know what I mean? I'm just as scared as you are. I've never, I mean, you're the only guy I've ever been with. So, you know what I mean? I'm just as upset as, as, as he is. But to go, to react the way he did was just, was just not right but anyway i knew i was gonna have words with him because he you know he wasn't coming home he was and if he did he came home at three o'clock in the morning all drunk and stuff and belligerent and i just thought that was disrespectful because trust me i wouldn't have been able to do that so i knew i was gonna have words with him so um he had this army knife that his dad gave him when he was a kid that i mean he he treasured this thing and um, I knew I was going to have words with them, so I didn't want that knife to become an issue, you know what I mean? So I hid it deliberately because I didn't want to have to use it against him. And I sure didn't want him using it against me. Remember, I'm too much pregnant. So, yeah, I hid it. So anyway, okay, so he comes to me at 3 o'clock, he, lay he lays down for a second. He wakes up at about 5.30. Here comes 6 o'clock. He's nudging me on my shoulder. He's like, hey, uh, Trina, uh, can you give me $5 for some lunch money? And I'm like, what? I said, you've been out all night. You didn't call to say, you know, where you was, when you was coming home. I was worried sick. You come walking in at 3 o'clock in the morning, and then you're going to tap my shoulder as you walking up the door asking me for some of my money, for some lunch money. Are you serious? What I want to know is where the heck was you all night long? So that's how the argument erupted into this big thing. Anyway, somehow we end up out of the bedroom into the hallway and then he just starts, I mean, he just went off and starts calling me out of my name and I'm like, you know what? I'm not one to be called a B-I-T-C-H, okay? I am not the one and I got off in his face. Well, he just snapped and just started manhandling me. He's like dragging me back to our bedroom and we got to the, the front entrance of the door and I'm holding onto the doorpost like, oh my God, what is he going to do to me once he gets me into the room? So I just said, I was like, Mo, I mean, he was pulling me trying to get me into the room. And so I was like, Mo, please. I was like, whatever you do, please just don't hurt my baby. And when I said that, he just, he like dropped me. He did just like this. Like, and he dropped me. I think he, he snapped back into his sense. It was like, oh my God, this girl is pregnant. And I attacked her. So he just, he didn't say another word. He just stepped over me, grabbed his bag, and walked off and left. He didn't say another word. And that was the last time I spoke to him until after I had Christian. Okay, I got out that day. I didn't stay. I didn't wait for him to come home and rationalize. Why did you do that? I, there was nothing to discuss. He shouldn't have put his hands on me, let alone putting his hands on a, a, two, a, a woman that was pregnant, two months pregnant. And I already knew if he came home and he did try to attack me, somebody was going to die that day. It was going to be either me or him. So that was the best, the leaving was the best thing I could have done. Now, back to Oksana and Mel Gibson. Evidently what happened was they got into an argument and